Hello, 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 friends. I have got a very special video for you today. Uh, several months ago, because as you know, I've been moving, so I am super behind on things. Uh, several months ago, I got a little kit. It is a DIY artisan polish lab from DRK Nails. Uh, I got this during a polish pickup. And I thought we would mix some nail polish together. So let's do this. Uh, first of all, I have some empty nail polish bottles that I got from Amazon. Uh, they are care and kind. It came with like six different bottles. Uh, the bottles are this size. I think they're like regular uh, polish, like 12 ounce, 15 ounce sizes. Uh, and then they came with uh, six funnels, one for each of the polish bottles. So we will be using this when doing our nail polish today, but let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the polish lab. So first of all, we have a DRK Nails sticker, and then we have all sorts of uh, shimmer and pigments and all sorts of things. Let's go ahead and get this open. And I will show you what comes in this. Lots of different pigments and things. Um, I don't remember how much this was. It really was not that much. I want to say it was like 20 or so. Uh, every once in a while uh, in the polish pickup, DRK Nails does one of these. Um, this was this one was, I wanted to say, like from back like May, uh, June time frame. But we have an Aurora Orange Gold Green Shimmer. You can see that there. We have a 5D magnetic magenta pink gold green pigment pack here. We have a shimmer pink to purple. Uh, this one says do not overdose this. Just a tiny bit goes a long way. We have chameleon pink coral and gold. Neon magenta. Magnetic white micro flake. We have some confettis. It looks like we've got some aqua, uh, lavender, dark purple, pink, light pink. Really fun confettis there. We have a thermal blue purple. And then we have an aurora red, pink, and green. So we've got all of those pigment packets. And then from there, we also have liquid pigment in deep blue. We have a liquid pigment in violet and then a magic holographic micro flake in uh, that bottle there. We've got a pastel flake green teal purple. So there's some flakies there. We've got some iridescent flakes, pink, purple, and green. So we can add some fun little flaky shimmers to our polish if we want to. And then we have a chrome flake, red, gold, and green, which might be fun for like a Christmassy type polish. And then we have two suspension bases. We have a one ounce, these are five free suspension bases. And then we have a two ounce, five free suspension base. And then we have a mixing cup. To do a nine ounce polish, it says you just need to do five milliliters. Uh, and then you add just a little bit more. And then we have some mixing sticks and we have a spoon to help us measure out uh, the, um, the, the pigments as we do them. And then these are mixing sticks. So let's go ahead and have some mixing fun. So we're gonna start out with the mixing cup. Again, we start out with just five milliliters. So we're just gonna fill it up to right here. Let me go ahead and open up the suspension base. We're going to start with a smaller bottle. Go ahead and get this measured. I think that's about, no, that's not quite five milliliters, but almost. So really, because you're not using a ton, you're only using five milliliters. That's about five milliliters there. You're only using five milliliters to start with, and then you add a little bit more after you've got everything mixed up. 
um, really these three ounces of suspension base should take us a fairly long way, which is kind of cool. So uh, let's go ahead and get this started. So we have the liquid pigment, the deep blue liquid pigment. We've got the holographic microflakes. And then we have the violet pigment. There you go, violet pigment. All right, so I think I'm going to start with the violet pigment pigment here. Let's see if I can get this open without having it go everywhere because I don't want to make it too messy. Let's see if we can get this out. It has been a while since I bought this, so hopefully the products are still good to add. That looks like a good amount there. Um, I watched a video on DRK Nails Hollow or on their uh, YouTube, and it didn't really say how much to add. So um, it just said the five milliliters to start out with for the suspension base, and then eventually you do add like basically five more milliliters. Um, but it didn't really say how much of the pigments and stuff. I guess it just kind of depends on how pigmented and opaque you want it to be. And you guys know me, I actually really like my polishes pretty opaque. So, all right, that's a nice, beautiful, dark purple there. Really pretty. All right, I think we are going to add... I want to add... I think I want to add, I'm trying to decide if I want to add some of the Aurora or if maybe the magnetic pigment I think would be really pretty with the violet. So I think we're going to go with that. We're going to add some of the magnetic pigment. This is a magnetic magenta pink, green, and gold. So hopefully this will work. All right, I'm gonna use the little spoon that came here with it and see if I can dish that out. Ooh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. All right. Go ahead and seal that back up and we will stir that. I might have added too much of that pigmenty. I did add a lot, so might have added too much. It doesn't say how much to add it. I think you just kind of eyeball it. I don't know. I've never done one of these before, so go ahead and stir that up a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I want to add anything else. I don't think so. I think for this first one, I think we'll kind of leave it at this. All right, now we'll go ahead and add in some more suspension base. Just do a squirt in there. Get that all mixed up. You know, I think I actually do want to add some of the Magic Holographic Micro Flakes to this. I think that would be pretty to add in some of that Silver Micro Flake. Oh man, that's pretty. Okay. Let's see if we can add in some of this. I thought it was like a, they were flakies, but it's actually a liquid micro flake. I think that looks good. I've never done this before, so you guys are experimenting with me. Let's see 
how this looks. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm super excited to see how this is going to look. All right. Let's go ahead and scrape that. Put that right there. And then I have my little funnel. Put that in the bottle. And here we go. Ooh, that's not wanting to go through. I don't know if we're going to be able to use the funnel. On their video, on DRK's YouTube video, they just kind of poured it straight into the bottle. And that may, may be what I need to do. Because it's going, it's just going super, super slow. Okay, I think we'll finish letting this funnel out. And then we'll go ahead and add it just straight from the cup. Ooh, you can see that shimmer. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that shimmer with the different colors in there? Oh, that's pretty. This is going to be a pretty polish. I'm excited for this one. Okay, I'm going to grab a cotton wipe here to put this on because that's pretty much run out there. We'll go ahead and put that on that. And then we're just going to pour straight into the bottle. I'm excited to see what this one looks like. Let's see if it actually is magnetic. It says it's a magnetic pigment. A 5D. So we'll see how it works. Oh man, that's pretty. Okay, what I was, it looks like I didn't mix enough because that's not going to quite fill up the bottle. It's only going halfway. We might have to mix up some more. And then I can put it in my shaker to mix it up the rest of the way. Yeah, that only did about three quarters of the bottle. Okay, in the meantime though, so that we don't have to make you guys wait to see what this is gonna look like, we are gonna put that in there, and then I'm gonna grab my swatch stick, and we'll go from there. Here we go. That's pretty. I'm liking that color. Look at that shimmer. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, to have it be truly magnetic, we need to start it out with a black. So, I'm gonna grab my black. This is my black from Live Love Polish. It's one of my favorite blacks. I actually forgot that I owned it until I started unpacking my polishes when I moved here to the new house. And then I remembered that I had it and I'm so excited. Uh, Live Love Polish is actually rebranding to another company. Uh, they're going to be called Mooncat. And they put all of their Live Love Polish bottles on sale. Uh, so I bought several of their LBD, which is... They're blacks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, and then I will come back, and we're going to try it out as a magnetic polish. So we'll see if it works. In the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and mix up a little bit more because I think I love this polish. So I want to mix up a little bit more, and we're going to make it a full bottle. So I'll be back. All right, I am back. I went ahead and mixed up the rest of the polish, so it is now a full bottle. In fact, I actually have a little bit of extra still in here. So as soon as I am done with this manicure, I'll try to add the rest. If not, that's totally fine. But um, I have my 
black and it is completely dry now. So what you do from here on a magnetic polish is we are going to add our polish here. Um, I like to do a fairly thick coat. And then we get our magnet. And we take the magnet and we hold it over for like 15 seconds or so. And we should see the magic once we pull this away, if the magnetic works on this still. I think I see something happening. But we'll see. There we go. Oh yeah, can you see that? Can you see that nice little magnetic strip there in the center? That's pretty. Oh, I am loving this polish. What we would do from here is we would go back and over and do a second one and then magnetic again. Then we would do a quick dry top coat and magnetic again. We would do the magnet again. I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and do another one. But this is the lab, like so fun. Um, I think I want to do another one here soon where I do maybe some of the flakies and things. Um, what I'll probably do at the end of this video, since now you know how to do the polishes, uh, what I'll do is maybe go ahead and show some of the um, end results at the end of this. So that way you aren't sitting through a really long video again. But anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and let this dry and I'll come back and we'll do some more experimenting and all the things. All right, I am back. I ended up doing three polishes and I actually still have enough suspension base for probably another polish and a half, but I'm out of it. I'm out of empty bottles. So that will just go into um, my stash, please, uh, basically, and I will go ahead and make another one at another point. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what I have come up with. So here is the purple that I mixed on camera, and I decided to call this one Eggplant Sparkle. And here it is by itself, not magnetic. And it is a really pretty polish. Very pretty. It's got lots of sparkle and it's like that deep eggplant color. Here it is as a magnetic. And I am so in love with this. So in love with it. So what I did was I did a black uh, base coat. And then you do a coat of the uh, magnetic polish. And then you let that dry. You do another coat of the magnetic polish, hold the magnet over it each time uh, for about 20 to 30 seconds, uh, and then you let that completely dry. Then you do a quick dry top coat. I use the quick dry top coat from Live Love Polish, and then you hold the magnet over it again for another 20 to 30 seconds, and it does that gorgeous shimmer. I am so in love with this polish, you guys. So in love with it. Uh, the next polish that I did is this one. It is a beautiful pink with lots of shimmer in it, and I called this one my Valentine. Uh, here it is on the swatch stick. It's just a beautiful shimmery pink. What I used for that one was, of course, the suspension base, and then I used the neon magenta. I used the chameleon pink coral gold sparkle, and then I also used just a tiny touch of the uh, Magic Holographic Micro Flake. Um, I did add just a tiny touch of the uh, deep blue pigment in there as well, just to take it uh, a little more on the purpley side. Um, but it's not too purple, as you can see. It's kind of got that uh, really pretty, uh, I don't even know how to describe that. But I really love this one. And then the final one that I came up with, I did the suspension base, of course, and then I did the liquid pigment deep blue. And then I actually did the pastel flake 
with the green, the teal, and the purple shimmer. And this is how that one turned out. It is so pretty with all of those shifting color flakes. It's just gorgeous, and I called that one Blue Christmas. Because it's got like that icy blue with the shimmers in it. Uh, but it's that deep blue, so I call that one Blue Christmas. Um, but I am absolutely loving this, um, this little lab kit. I think the next time that she releases one, I'll definitely get it again. Because this was really fun to blend these colors. Uh, I actually want to get some more empty bottles and see if I can maybe do one that really doesn't have a huge amount of pigment to it and mostly just has shimmers and confettis and stuff. Um, so we'll see how that works. Uh, maybe something with like the Aurora shimmer as my pigment and then doing uh, maybe just some of the flakes and things like the iridescent flakes I think would be really pretty. But I need to get some blank bottles first. But overall I am super happy with this lab. Uh, if you guys see it on Polish Pickup, I would say definitely pick one up. Um, they, I think she actually has them on her website, the DRK website as well, where you can pick them up there, the individual pieces and things. So um, really fun though. I absolutely loved this. I hope you guys like the results. Um, I think I'm actually going to do a manicure with this one because it is just so pretty. Look at that. Look at how that just... Look at that color shift. It's just so pretty. All right. Well, there you have it. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe.